So here's um, Eddie and Am Jam talking about um, the uh, sexual assault that happened. Now, to me, it just seems like two people are up here making fun of a, a person, and it doesn't seem like mm. she's acting the way uh, someone would that was uh, sexually assaulted. Mm. She seems... Because you've been sexually assaulted, I guess. And you know how you acted when you were sexually assaulted. And so, therefore, you know, based on your experience with being sexually assaulted, you know how people might generally act if they were sexually assaulted. Not that everyone's going to act the exact same when they're sexually assaulted, but because you've been sexually assaulted, you know what someone who's been sexually assaulted would act like a year after it happened. Okay, go ahead. Be very high. And remember, Eddie and Amber met at... Also, she seems to be very high based on you listening to her talk and relative to no other time you've ever heard her talk because she's been the same since you've heard her on YouTube, right? You, you get snippets of her. You compare it to snippets of her, which is all you got. And you go, she seems to be high. Because you would know, because you've been high. So you've been high and you've been sexually assaulted. And that's why you would know why she sounds both high and, of course, not someone who's been sexually assaulted because they didn't react the way you would react. Uh, rehab. So let's hash this out. Let's go. Let's and you just said Amber and I met each other in rehab. It's, it's good thing I'm not chilly fucking De Castro, right, dog? Because... I might fucking go to a court and try to sue you to have you pay me money for defaming my, my, myself and my family. I might do that if I gave a fuck. You have the right to say all this shit. I don't give a shit. I don't care about your opinion. I will decimate your opinion here in this very fucking video, but it doesn't mean I care. I'm not taking any steps to try to quell your speech like you did by sending me a cease and desist. You know what I'm saying, homie? I ain't doing the actual step work in trying to get you to shut the fuck up. I'm trying to tell you, stop trying to talk shit about a woman who has not done the things you've said and also in bullions of recovery. She's beating the shit out of recovery right now. She's doing great. She has not done anything untoward for you to say anything toward her since you've known her. You made an opinion based on my comments about what I said happened to her or her comments about what she said happened to her. You made an opinion. You have never smoked, spoke to the opposing party. You never talked to Cullen or, or Craig. You've just made this a troll on me since... For four years, for four years, you've trolled me with my wife as a whore, right? That's what you've done. I've told you she's not. She told you she's not. But you think she is because she doesn't act the way you think someone should act a year after that happened to them. Okay, me. Was, I thought it was email. It was Facebook. I thought it was Facebook. But okay. It might be email. Uh, so let's hash this out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, me. It was, I thought it was email. It was a Facebook. I thought it was Facebook. But okay. It might be email. Um, there was a message sent to my husband from Dave Nags that said, um, and don't quote me on the exact verbiage, but I want you, Eddie, and I'm in love with you. Well, it didn't say, I want you, Eddie, and I'm in love with you. It said, I want to be with you, Eddie. Call me. We need to talk. On August 6, 2019. Straight up from my, right now, from my actual Gmail. Go ahead, Dave. So, uh, did y'all hear that? Let's back this up again. This is the type of lies and deceit that I have to go through because I pulled up what seems to be, the, in my opinion, the truth. Here's what I have to live with. My husband from Dave Nags that said, um, and don't quote me on the exact verbiage, but I want you, Eddie, and I'm in love with you. Or it said, I'm in love with you. No, I want you. Yeah. All right. That's, you're, got, he, you're definitely right about the point. The point is, that's what he said. And I showed it to my wife. 
was like, what do you think of this? This was during a time when we had had, let's see the text. Or was it an email? Or was it Facebook? It was an email. Right there. Right there. Email. I want to be with you, Eddie. Spelled wrong. August 6, 2019. Call me. We need to talk. And then you change your number seven times since then. Remember that? <laughs> Massive lie. Huge lie right there. Really, though? Just Was it a huge lie? Because there it is. All right? There it is. That's right straight out my Gmail, dude. I looked up Slab City News and my Gmail. There you are. All the Slab City News is. Right? And there you are. I want to be with you, Eddie. Call me. We need to talk. Man, I know you really must hate transparency right now. You know when two people are fighting about something that is cut deep? The worst thing you can do as a bystander is get into the situation because both of their hatred towards the subject just gets pushed off to the bystander. Are you saying that, oh my goodness, are you saying that because you butted your nose into our business and went public saying that my wife is a lying, cheating whore about what happened with Cullen and Craig, and since you butted your head into it that we're now taking that out on you? You know, Cullen and Craig have never disputed anything we've said publicly. You're the only one. You and uh, 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 Randy and uh, AJ are the only ones who publicly disputed what was said on their behalf. So, yeah, you're going to get targeted with the, uh, the response. You live in Michigan. You weren't here. You've never been here. When that shit was going on, you weren't here. And when you were here, you didn't tell me you were here. It's me. So every time they think about the Colin Bramlett situation that happened at Red's restaurant in Concord, North Carolina. They think about me. That's not where it happened. It happened at Conversation Peace restaurant in Concord, North Carolina. And Colin Bramlett was one of the owners. All right. And Craig Misham was the bar manager. All right. And they took her home and they attempted to S.A. my wife, sexually assault my wife, okay? That's what happened. And now they were successful at that because they did that. They didn't rape her. And I misspoke early on when I said rape because I think if you touch my wife like that, it's rape. I just feel like that. Legally speaking, it's not right. No, not in North Carolina, no. It's not considered rape in North Carolina. But it's close enough, man. It's an essay. And it, by the way, it was a conspiratorial essay. And they got away with it. They're happy to have gotten away with it. If you're so brave and big and bad on this, God, dude, <clears throat> you keep telling everybody you're not going to talk about Amber anymore, right? And then telling people you made up Am Jam for whatever reason. Look at this weird guy, dude. I've known Amber for 10 years. I've been calling her that for 10 years. This guy here wants to take credit for that. Weird person. Basic Bob, I saw your donation tonight to Chili. <laughs> Basic Bob made a $20 donation to Chili De Castro tonight of Delete Laws. The guy who's grifting money off of people. Left and right to quell other people's free speech. Exactly what David right now is trying to say that I was supposedly doing to him. By pointing out the facts that he actually did. You know, say here, I want to be with you, Eddie. I mean, you did say that. Amber wasn't wrong about that. Y your free speech, you think we're trying to quell when that's exactly what Chili DeCastro is doing to Kate and Josh. He's trying to get a court, uh, a judge to take down their YouTube channel for the things that they've said about him, their opinions. Just like you have an opinion about Amber, and I'm not going to do anything to stop you from having it. You can have it all you like. Chili is going to sue everybody who has an opinion about him that is not in favor of Chili. And you support him, and so does Basic Bob. 
And it's curious to me why Chili named out every single one of his donators tonight, by the way. And maybe you didn't expect that from him because you don't know him well enough. But I did. I did. And uh, two things I want you to know. Chili A named off Basic Bob as a contributor. And B, did you know that Chili is going to try to get every donator of Kate's uh, credit card and, and, and address and all their info? He's going to try to subpoena all that. And you know that in the, in the idea of fairness, Kate and Josh will be able to do the same thing. And do you know that if that happens, that we will find out who you are, Basic Bob? I mean, is that what you're is that what you're down for? Because that's what Chili's trying to do. He wants to know who we are, the people who donated to Kate. He wants to know who we are, and they'll get the chance to know who you are because you donated to him. In the idea of fairness. I hope you get that. And I hope you understand that that's what's coming for you. Right? And that what Chili says? That's what's coming for you. And David. I don't even got to watch the rest of this video to know that for the next three hours and 40 minutes. You probably just lied to people like you always do. All I need to do is prove the very first lie you said tonight. Amber wasn't making up shit about you. There it is, David. August 6, 2019. Read them and weep. And maybe quit trying to fucking roam with the big boys. The fat dog needs to stay on the big porch.